Okay, one moment. All right, the stage is all yours. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. This is Jeno James, and I am your sergeant at arms for today's meeting. I welcome you all for the SQSAT meeting number 428 of Desert Pioneers Toastmaster Club. Before starting the meeting, I would like to mention three rules, which are as follows. Kindly keep your mobiles on silent mode. Since this is a virtual meeting, please put yourself on mute unless you are asked to speak. Kindly refrain talking from the subjects like sex, religion, and politics. It is encouraged to keep the video on throughout the meeting in case if you want to step out of the meeting unless secure to go. Kindly switch off the video before leaving. This is a virtual meeting. In order to show your engagement, I encourage you all to use reactions through the chat box. Now let me read out the mission of the Toastmasters Club. We provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. With that, I declare that this meeting has opened and I'm hand over the screen to Toastmaster Suhan Abdulmanaf. Over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Janu, our Sergeant at Arms, fellow Toastmasters, and my dear friends around the world, good evening. I'm Toastmaster Suhan Abdulmanaf, your acting president for today. Our current president is just uh, away for some emergency leave, so I'm taking over on her place. So let me welcome our guests. So let me call our first guest is Toastmaster Chuka. Would you mind introducing yourself, please? Greetings, everybody. My name is Chuka, and I am currently living in Manchester in the UK. I studied at Imperial College London with a master's in material science and engineering, and I just completed my studies. I am also the president of Imperial College Speakers, and Suhan has been a um, guest in, that, uh, in one of those meetings, so I'm pleased to reciprocate the favor and just join today's meeting. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Chuka. Welcome. And we have another guest, Toastmaster Svikar. Please introduce yourself. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, this is Svikar. Uh, I am from Rajasthan, India. And uh, I've done my BTEC from Rajasthan in information technology. Then I've been working from last eight years. Uh, my profile is into... Uh, <clears throat> business analytics. And other than that, I love uh, nature, hiking. Uh, I'm into, uh, am I audible? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I am, I love playing poker, uh, stock trading uh, into numbers, whatever is related to numbers. So, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Toastmaster Speaker. And now we have got another guest, from India, that's Toastmaster Deepa. Please introduce yourself. Hi, everybody at Desert Pioneers. And thanks, Suhan, for inviting me to this club. And I'm playing the evaluator, as you can see, for Speaker 4. Uh, I'm from a community club called Speech Weavers. It's in Bangalore, India. And uh, yeah, just excited to be here. Thank you so much. And I would like to hear from two sisters, that is uh, Saida Huraya Gayas and Toastmaster Laiba Gayas. Hello everyone, my name is Zuria and I am the mem member of Gavils Club Toastmaster Pakistan and I am 16 years old and I am a high school student. I just recently passed my first year exams and now I am waiting to um, like success, go in second year and uh, looking forward for a kind response in this meeting. Thank you so much. And now Toastmaster Laiba. 
Thank you so much, Toastmaster Sahara Bhima. Uh, this is Toastmaster Sayyid al from District 122, which is Pakistan. Uh, I'm the member of two clubs, that is Express and Dao IDSS. I'm currently serving as Vice President of Education in Express and Sketchy in Dao IDSS. So I'm looking forward to attend this amazing session. Over to Toastmaster Sahara. Thank you so much, uh, all the guests who are present here. Now we all know why we are here because Toastmasters is the only platform where we can improve our communication and leadership skills, which can result in greater self-confidence and personal growth. And personally, when I joined this club, I have uh, I was like a shy person first, and then as and when I went on with through this journey, my life has changed completely. And you know, I have advanced quite a well in my career as well as in my personal life. So this is all why we are here. And I hope all the guests who have come will really you know, take this opportunity and learn a lot and improve a lot as the journey goes by. And now, without any further ado, I would like to welcome our Toastmaster of the day. She's none other than our club secretary herself, our cute Toastmaster, Toastmaster Asil Saeed. Thank you. Let me share screen. I have a surprise. I want to show you all something. Um, I'm having trouble share screen. Okay, till you uh, sort it out, I just would I want to say a few things. That is that uh, for today's agenda, our two speakers are uh, not uh, there, and uh, we could do to some reasons. So, uh, so we'll uh, we'll not have uh, two speakers as Toastmaster Arij and Toastmaster Vishal, and rest the agenda is as it is. So, thank you so much. I, I would like to call someone to agend that. I mean, yeah. Anyone? Uh, My name second? is Toastmaster Hanan Halush, a good uh, member with the Desert Pioneers Toastmaster Club at Good Standing. I would like to raise a motion to adopt the amendments in the agenda. Uh, thank My you so name much. Is Sana Yusuf. I am a member of the Desert Pioneers in Good Standing, and I second the motion to make the amendment. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Hanan and Toastmaster Sana. So the uh, agenda is adopted. And now I'd like to give the stage back to our Toastmaster of the day. Thank you. And thank you for helping me share screen. I am survivor. You're, some of you are curious why I decided on that. Well, during that time, one of my relatives was diagnosed with cancer. Luckily, it was diagnosed early, so her survival is very high, her chances are very high, which is why I see her as a surviving brave warrior because I know there's going to be the day when she says, I am cancer free. She is a survivor. We are all survivor in many things. I will show you each uh, survivor soon. Right now, I wanna introduce the role players who will help me throughout the meeting. Please help me welcome our beautiful, lovely timer to Semester Leiva. And I apologize if I pronounced her name wrong. Uh, yes, Toast Master, I see you are pronouncing my uh, name correctly. It's Leiva. You are pronouncing correctly. So, dear fellow Toastmasters and wonderful guests, today I'm going to play the role of a timer. So, as a timer, I'll be helping the Toastmaster of the evening, uh, table topic master, table topic master speakers and evaluators to be on time. So starting from prepared speech session, I'll show green, uh, yes. I'll show green at five minutes, six at yellow and red at seven minutes. And you all have 30 minutes of grace time. Then moving towards civil topic session. I'll show uh, green at one minute, yellow at one minute and 30 seconds 
and uh, read at two minutes. It means that you have 30 seconds to wrap up your given topic speech. Then moving towards evaluation. I'll show uh, green at two minutes, yellow at two minutes and 30 seconds, and red at three minutes. And uh, it means that you have 30 seconds to wrap up your evaluation speech. And I request you all, please spin the timer screen where, or when you are speaking. That's all from my side. Over to Ghostmaster of the Evening, Ghostmaster Asim. Thank you for your kindly introduction. Before I introduce you to the survivors, let me tell you that she is very, very lucky she caught it on time because we know how nasty cancer is and it's not easily caught. As I read on the website, no, symptoms and signs isn't clearly shown. It actually shows once the mass grows. She was lucky that she felt something was not right. Now, help me welcome our next role player who will count our repeated words and us and um, Toastmaster, Toastmaster Zahid. My audible. Hello. Am I audible? Yes, yes, yes. you are. Good, uh, good evening to Toastmaster and fellow Toastmaster and guest. Today, my role is a counter. The purpose of a counter is to note words and sounds that are used as a crutch uh, or pause filler by anyone who speaks. During the meeting, I will listen for overused words including and, well, but, so, and, you know. I will also listen for filler sounds, including, uh, mm, or I will also note when a speaker repeats a word or phrase such as I, this means at the end of meeting, I will report the number of times that each speaker use this expression. Thank you, over to you. Not only those who have cancer, they are lucky when they discover it early. There's also something similar to it. It's called tumor. <laughs> we all know tumor, right? It's also not easily caught. There's a buying, I don't know how do you say it, a tumor, non-cancerous tumor, or you could actually recover from it quickly. And there's the tumor cancerous tumor. So those who discover it really early, we should call them co-survivor. We should honor those survivor. And again, I know she will beat this cancer. Help me welcome my next role player who will keep an eye on our grammar and give us areas of improvement. Help me welcome those, those master Saida. And I apologize if I said her name wrong. Thank you, Toastmaster Asil. For your information, the pronunciation for my name is Huria. H double O R I Y A Huria. And today I'm playing the most honored role, grammarian, in which my duty is to note down the good and bad usage of grammar and all the um, unnecessary use of grammar in the words in your prepared or in your prompted speeches. And at the end of the meeting, I will submitting my report to the evaluator. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you so much. And thank you for the tip. I will try to work on your pronunciation correctly. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt here. Um, Toastmaster Huria, can you introduce the word of the day? Uh, yeah. I thought there would be a, another roll call for the word. So the word for the day is posterity, P-O-S-T-E-R-I-T-Y, posterity. And it means all future generations. It means all future generations. And the sentence for this word is, God offered Abraham a posterity like stars of heaven. That's the word of the day. And I really hope that you guys use this word in your pieces, whether it's prepared or it's prompted pieces. Over to the master, still the master of the day. 
Thank you and thanks for the introduction of the word of the day. You know, how many, how many times or recently we hear about a burning place or burning fire? So unfortunately, some might not survive the fire, but some do, but end up with burns. And I hate to say this, but it can be permanent. So even the burn survivors are lucky. We should give a standing ovation to those who survived the fire burning and the tumor and the cancer. Please give me a standing ovation to those survivors. Okay. Now help me, help me welcome my next role player who we see him many, our regular guests who shows up our deck moderator, Toastmaster Priyan Darshan. I cannot, I still can't say his name fully correctly, so I just nickname him Priya. Uh, hi, Toastmaster Asil. Uh, looks like I have some issue with my camera. Anyway, thank you, everyone. And myself, Pridarshan Reddy, I'll be the tech motor to back up actually for the day. And I'll be looking for all the back end things for everything. And I'll be helping Toastmaster Shiraz and Suhan for the voting pool as well as the, for the PPT slides if any help required. And thanks for the opportunity, Toastmaster Suhan. Over to you, Toastmaster Asil. Thank you, uh, tech uh, moderator. This is, there is a story I learned about a young boy. He is also a survivor. He, does, he did not survive any illness, did not survive a fire. He survived the dog bite, protecting his little sister. You, can, you guys can Google the boy's story that he got a scar on his face, protecting his sister from this vicious dog. So I would like to say he is a true survivor, a great older brother, a brave warrior. Even though he is young, he felt the opportunity he saw that he needed to protect his sister. A big, I wish I could give him a big applause to this brave warrior. Help me welcome my next role player who is a very sweet, a good friend of mine, the general evaluator, Dustmaster Stan. Thank you, Toastmaster Asil. And good evening to everyone, especially the guests who have decided to grace us with their presence. My name is Sana Yusuf, and I will be the general evaluator for today. And as a general evaluator, my role is to just sit back and review, assess the entire club meeting from the moment you guys all started entering the meeting till when I hand over back to the team OD at the end. And I'll be commenting on things like how the members perform their roles, the in overall enthusiasm of the club and the organization and time management and such things. And I'll be giving my report at the end during the evaluation segment. Over to you, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm not sure if I should count it as surviving or not, but I'll, I'll leave the choice of opinion to yours. I'm talking about COVID those who survived COVID and I'm one of uh, them, even though mine was minor, I'm not sure if I count as a survivor or not, but some might not survive it. So me and some of my relatives also got COVID, but we survived it. You guys can count me as a survival if you like, but give another clap to those who survived this nasty COVID, through COVID. Now let us start with our segment, the speaker segment. Help me welcome our first speaker, Toastmaster Huma, who will be evaluated by Toastmaster Salem. Toastmaster Salem, sorry. Toastmaster Salem, could you please give us, uh, explain to us your target speaker's objective? Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Asil. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. How are you? Great. So my target speaker, Toastmaster Huma Parveen, is embarking her project one from level three of innovative planning. 
The purpose of this project is for the member to develop or enhance her understanding of the steps and strategies to address conflict. The purpose of this project is for the members to develop or enhance her understanding of the steps and strategies to address conflict. Timer, please note down the time given for the speaker, five to seven minutes, five minutes green card, six minutes yellow card, seven minutes red card. Title of the speech, conflict, resolutions conflict resolutions wish you all the best toastmaster huma parveen back to you toastmaster of the day toastmaster azil okay thank you toastmaster huma the screen is yours and good luck Have you ever watched the famous Big Boss show on television? If there is one show which makes me believe that conflicts are good, it is the Big Boss show. Who could have come up with an idea of cashing on conflicts? Fellow Toastmasters and dear guests, a very good evening to all of you. What are conflicts between two people, disagreement, any incompatibility, arguments, or anything negative. We call it conflict. Why negative? Because it's a perception that conflict are always bad, but it is not important that conflicts are always bad if managed efficiently. Conflicts have the power to improve us, to make us more mature, and in some situations, rather transform us. Can there be a situation where there is no conflict? Never. Even if you are sent to a remote island, your mind will be full of conflicts. So now that we know conflicts are unavoidable, should we let them run over us or should we learn to manage them efficiently? Of course, learn to manage them efficiently. So today I will tell you some of the ways which you can manage conflict efficiently. First and foremost, the, which is very common is conflict management by aggression. Imagine that you're driving to your work early in the morning and unfortunately you, your car collided on the road with another vehicle. What would be the common scenario? Arguments, frustrations, blame, if conflict handled in this way, no matter whose fault it was, conflict has been very well managed with aggression. But it is a long-term thoughtful solution? Well, not really. The second way of managing conflict is by suppression. A famous leader once said, I never have conflicts with my wife. She does what she wants, and I do what she wants. Managing conflict by suppression will surely resolve the conflict in short term, but in long term, it's going to create a feeling of resentment, frustration, and it's detrimental to the health of relationship. Third strategy that people adopt to manage conflict is the strategy of evasion. But evasion is delaying the conflict, but not resolving it. So what is the ultimate solution? There is something called the strategy of positive action. What is positive action? Positive action is based on honesty, truthfulness, courage, doing the right thing at the right time. Want to understand more about it? Let me give you an example. It's very common for the flight to get delayed, right? And we all know how annoying it is when you hear that your flight got delayed. Some people take it to their heart and take extreme action. At the airport, I saw one passenger whose flight got detailed, delayed and he had 
a very important meeting to attend. He did not take the situation lightly. He went to the counter lady and started abusing and shouting like anything. You people don't know what an important meeting I am going to miss. I am going to face a loss of revenue. Who is going to pay me? You, your airline, who? I am going to sue you. Call the manager. The poor counter lady with no fault of hers was trying to simply calm him down patiently because those who are in the service sector very well know no matter how bad the customer is, you have to be very polite and be patient. Not long after that, another person arises. He was also informed about the same uh, that the, the, about the same situation that the flight has got delayed. And his answer was super, amazing. The first person observing this approached him and mentioned, what's wrong with you? Do you understand what she's trying to say? That our flight has got delayed. And you are saying super and amazing what type of person you are? To which the second passenger replied, there can be only three reasons for the flight getting delayed. Either there is a technical problem in the flight, and I don't want to abort a flight where there is a technical problem. Second, the pilot has not arrived. If the pilot has not arrived, I don't want someone else to fly the plane. And the third, the weather is bad which we can see actually the weather is bad. The bad weather is not safe for our journey. So I would rather prefer reaching late than not reaching at all. So friends, there are three takeaways which we can take for managing the conflict, which I believe will help each of us. First is to separate yourself from the situation, which the second passenger did. He was not thinking only about himself, but he was trying to understand the actual cause. So let's separate ourselves and try to understand why conflict has taken place, what you can do about it. The second is communicate well. If you don't communicate well, if you don't express your feeling, you will pile up frustration amongst you. And if you communicate in a way that you are blaming the other person, even that's not correct. You have to be empathetic and understand the other person's situation as well. And third is to find the root cause of the problem and eliminate it so that it does not happen again. Thank you and over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Huma. Great uh, speech. Good job. Uh, Tamara, could you give us one minute to send feedback to our lovely speaker, Toastmaster Huma? Madam Toastmaster of the evening, one minute is over. Okay, good job. Before I introduce the next speaker, let me tell you all the quick info. Not sure if you heard of these people, even I first time hear of those actresses, famous people, but, uh, but Julia Lewis-Dreyfus, Robin Roberts, 
Jane Fonda and Christina Applegate survived cancer, survived cancer. And I know my relatives will be one of those who survived this nasty cancer. Please help me welcome our next speaker, Toastmaster Jenu James, who will be evaluated by Toastmaster Depa. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrongly, but please explain your target speaker's objectives. Thank you, Toastmaster Asil. Our second speaker today is going to be attempting his level one project two, the second speech, the evaluation and feedback second speech. And the purpose of this project is for the member to present a speech on any topic, receive feedback, which he has already got. He's given a speech before, he's gotten a feedback and apply the feedback to this particular speech. So this is the second speech. And uh, the speaker has to demonstrate that he has applied the feedback that he has received from the first speech. Timer, uh, please, Laiba, please note, uh, time is five to seven minutes. Over to Asil, are you there? Yeah, I am there. I'm sorry. I thought you handed over the screen to the target speaker, but I guess I'm the one who should do it. My apologies. I thought he was going to speak up since you guys highlighted our speaker. Anyway, Toastmaster General James, the screen is yours and good luck. I'm sorry. I thought you were going to start now. Thank you, Toastmaster Asi. Stress, stress, stress. Everywhere stress. If I go office, work stress. At home, family stress. With my friends, social stress. Technology develops. Scientific advancements terribly dissolve many common issues and reduce the efforts and life absolutely becomes easy. Then why this stress? Who made this stress? How to survive it? Dear Toastmasters and friends, this is Jenu James, and I'm going to raise some social questions to you. It's not Dux prior, is it? The latest estimates from the labor force survey of US shows the total number of cases of work-related stress, depression, or anxiety in 2019 and 2020 was 828,000. The prevalence rate of 2,440 per 100,000 workers. This was statistically significantly higher than the previous period. Average sick leave due to stress-related illness is more than 25% of total sick leaves in a year. At present, communications are easy and workloads are exorbitantly less. We all have connected each other always by social media. But when was the last time you shared something to your close friend emotionally? Or when have you heard your best friend's personal problems? Of course, we all are connected, but it is for nothing. We don't care who are we talking or sharing thoughts, keeping relationships. We are exponentially creating relationship in the work world and share sensitive matters without any hesitation. In fact, it is just a virtual stigma. My dear friends, where we have lost our mind of tolerance. We easily get angry at colleagues, parents, children, or wife. Why? The answer is intolerable and uncontrollable emotions or stress. How can we tackle this issue? Going back to the old days is not an ultimate solution. 
technology and connectivity are inevitable these days before google or any other technology people were using their brain and inhabitants to find a solution for the problems when technology developed people started to use technology instead of brain whereas the relationships apparently diminished and people alienated themselves with their electronic gadgets it increases the fear tension scared of communication now people are afraid about their mistakes and ignorance and they are failing to create connections through their brains despite being connected by the wires these limitations eventually develop as a massive stress hindrances to regret or forgive are pushing people into suicide simultaneously every family reacts differently to stress but some of the most common effects include arguments fighting and other poor communication skills fatigue health problems and general exhaustion because of busy schedules let me ask one thing how many of you can honestly say that you are firmly connected to the family members emotionally or mentally we were but now it is replaced by mobile phones or other electronic gadgets so ask yourself how do i respond to stress how do i respond to the emotional stress feeling do i tend to overact to or engage in other unhealthy behavior such as smoking or flipping facebook faster and faster when i feel stressed in what ways could my stress coping skills be improved having regular conversation can help a family workplace to better understand and address any stresses people are experiencing low levels of communication have been associated with poor decision making among colleagues well dear all today is the day for the cure we need to survive this human menace keep focus on our brain and increase the level of communication to family workplace society ourselves and our posterity thank you all back to you toss master of the day once again you did a very good job to mr jinu james i knew you could do it Tamara, could you please give us one minute to send our feedbacks to our speaker, Toastmaster General James? Madam Postmaster, I'm thinking one minute is over. Thank you so much. Shall we have a? Shall we vote for the best uh, speaker? Or first, let me ask the timer. Are both of the speakers qualified? Yes, Madam Postmaster, both the prepared speakers are qualified. Please vote for best prepared speaker. That is Postmaster Huma Parmin and Postmaster Jiu James. Great. 
So let us uh, vote for the best uh, speaker, Toastmaster Huma and Toastmaster Geno James. Let's prepare the poll. Launching the poll now for the best speaker. Three, two. You are right, uh, Toastmaster Geno James. Family and friends are more important than phone. Luckily, I'm not that addicted to the phone. Maybe you might consider me addicted, but not extreme addicted. I do make time for my family. Here mm -hmm. back in Cairo, I am surrounded by my relatives. They are surrounding my they are surrounding my relative who has cancer with lots of attention and love. 24-7. Shall, if we're done with the poll and voting, shall we move on to the next segment? Yeah, we are done with the poll. Go ahead. Okay. Let us move on to our favorite segment where anyone, even the non-members, can volunteer. Let me welcome the screen, the table topic master, Toastmaster master Suhan. The screen is yours. Hey, thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Asil, the Toastmaster of the day. Before we begin, um, shall we all click a photo? I want all of you to open your cameras so that we all can click photos. Let's get ready for the next session. Come on, everyone, open your cameras. Okay, who's clicking the picture? I think it's me. On What's your phone? All right. Have then. Answer. Okay. Uh, shall I go Hi, ahead? Toastmaster Sana. Sorry. Okay. Uh, shall I go ahead? Yeah. Okay. So now let's begin our table topic my uh, table topic session for the for the guests. Uh, the table topic session is where I'll be giving a topic on spot and you have to think on your feet spontaneously and just have to, you know, say, speak for one to two minutes where the timer has already given the rules where at one, you'll be showing the green, at one and a half uh, yellow, and at two, you'll be shown the red color. So without any further ado, I would like to begin the table topics and this is my screen. Okay. So now I would like to call our first volunteer that shall be Toastmaster Chuka. Toastmaster Chuka, would you like to go ahead first, please? Toastmaster Chuka, can you hear me? I think you're... I can't hear you though. Yes, I, I can hear you now. Okay. I will right. have to hear you. Out of uh, these eight uh, topics, uh, in these eight photos, choose any one, please. Considering that my uh, master's degree was in engineering, I think it's, it's fitting that I choose the bridge. Are you going to choose the bridge? Okay, so let me see what do we have here. No, this is not your topic, sorry. I don't know what happened. I'm sorry, my screen is just, I don't know. Maybe you can read it. Okay, I'll just try and bring that. Yeah. 
Okay, my topic is, it's okay to be scared. Being scared means you're about to do something really, really brave. I repeat, it's okay to be scared. Being scared means you're about to do something really, really brave. Over to you, Toastmaster Chuka. Remember at the beginning of time, the beginning of the civilization and the beginning of the human race, what was that first invention of man? Does anyone recall the first invention of man? Hannah? Fire? Exactly. But what did the what was the reaction of the people to this fire? <gasps> oh my goodness! <gasps> this is impossible. What is this? <sighs> and they were panicking and they were running until they started to study this fire, and they realized that if they had a tore like a stick and then they poked the fire then the stick would catch fire and if they waved it at some animal then the animal would ret retreat the animal would be scared and they wouldn't be eaten think about it the fire is now such an important milestone in human history but initially people were scared and everything that we do that it, we, every new technology that we try to introduce into the world will come with that barrier that feeling of being scared but it is when we overcome that barrier that's when we see the true potential of our innovation and the world gets to experience and benefit with us. Over to you, Table Topic Master. Thank you so much, Josh Master Chuka. Now I would like to show my screen once again. And I would like to ask who's going to come next? Who's next volunteer? Toastmaster Hanan. Toastmaster Hanan, raise your hand. Yes, Toastmaster Hanan. What would you like to choose apart from the bridge? Yes, table topic master. I would like to go with the lion. Oh, you want to go with the lion? Okay, what's behind the lion? Okay, your topic is I am a fighter, I am a survivor. I'll get through anything people can throw at me. I repeat, I'm a fighter, I'm a survivor. I'll get through anything people can throw at me. Over to you, Toastmaster Hanan. Thank you, Table Topic Master, and good evening to everyone here in the audience. I'm a fighter and I'm a survivor and I can handle anything that is thrown on my way. You see, I was taught to be a fighter since I was in the kindergarten by my father. He was accompanying me from my steps until I graduated from high school and the university. And then crisis struck. My father passed away and my life flipped. I felt as if I'm lost because my father was my role model. He was the person that is pushing me and motivating me to go ahead and do the next step, take any challenges coming. I felt depressed. I felt that I've lost all my hope. But again, whatever my father planted in me, the fighting spirit, always to survive, whatever, wherever the circumstances are, came out because it was already there inside me. I just needed to look deep inside. And that's exactly what I did. Since I'm the oldest of my siblings, 
I took over. I now became their father. Because again, I had to take that part. I was taught to take that part. I just needed to recap and embrace my role. So being a fighter or a survivor, something is always there in each one of us. The only thing you need to take care of is just believe. Believe in your, in your capabilities. Believe in your skills. Believe that you can do it. Because if you can do it by yourself, nobody can do it for you. Nobody. You, you see what is around us. Everyone is always having their own dilemmas, their own issues. If you cannot do your goals, if you cannot achieve anything, nobody can achieve it for you. Just dig deep, believe in your capabilities, in your skills, and you will be the fighter of yourself, and you'll survive. Back to you, Table Topic Master. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Hanad, for your wonderful speech. And now, let's move to the next one. Who's going to be the next volunteer? Okay, I can see that uh, two persons have raised their hands. One is Toastmaster. Uh, okay, Svikar and Toastmaster Lakshmi. So I would like to give to the ladies first. Toastmaster Lakshmi. Hello, good evening. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Okay, now tell me what would you which object would you like to choose from here? Let me choose the clock. The clock. Okay, and let me see what's there behind the clock. Okay, this is your topic. You have only 24 hours left to live, what would you do? I repeat, you have only 24 hours left to live. What would you do? Over to you, Toastmaster Lakshmi. 24 hours to live. Oh my God, that's like a lot of time in hand. Hmm. Now, what would I do during this time? Yes, I think the first thing that I'm going to do is to get my favorite biryani, that chicken biryani, and, you know, relish it, relish it with an ice cream cone next to it. Eat my favorite breakfast and my favorite lunch. The next thing, I wouldn't stay at home even for a single second. You are muted, Toastmaster Lakshmi. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so should I start from the beginning or? Uh... No, after going outside. Go outside. Okay, cool. Yes. So I would go out post lunch. It's going to be me time. Go to the parlor, get myself pampered, get that hairstyle that I've wanted for ages. A manicure and a pedicure probably. Hmm. And then go meet up with my friends, friends who I've not got a chance to speak to for a very long time. And then finally, I'm sure I still have a couple of hours left. What would I do then? I think I would just go sit in a park, reflect on what I have done in the past, in the past many years that I have lived and smile, and smile, and smile, and send out a thank you to the Almighty for giving me such a wonderful life. Thank you, and over to you. Thank you so much, Mr. <laughs> Spasha Lakshmi, for your uh, wonderful, uh, this value, I mean, your uh, topic. And I, I'm actually out of words right now after when I heard the word biryani. So now who would like to go next? Okay, <laughs> the next one is Toastmaster Svikar. So Toastmaster Svikar, um, what would you like to choose? Uh, hi, uh, I think I would like to go with the Superman looking character, yeah? Superman, all right, let me see what's <laughs> behind Super. Okay. The your topic is, I am not what happened to me. I am 
what I choose to become. I am not what happened to me. I am what I choose to become. Over uh, to you. Thank you. Uh, perfect. So uh, I'm not uh, what I choose to become. Uh, can, can you uh, please show the topic again? Uh, yes, thank you. Okay, so uh, the topic is I'm not what happened to me. I am what I choose to become. So I can very well relate uh, to the uh, topic because uh, I remember when I was preparing for my uh, ITJE's exam, uh, I I worked hard uh, like religiously and so 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 well. And I used to be in the top 10 list. Uh, even after so much hard work, I didn't get selected. At that point of time, uh, there were two options uh, with me uh, that, okay, I can feel the depression, that losing feel, and uh, I can uh, take that path. And the other uh, path or other option which I, which I saw that, okay, what I can do from this point of time and how I can build up uh, or how I can grow uh, myself, uh, yeah, my professional go. career, uh, that way. So uh, at that point of time, I figured out that, okay, what I want to become is, I means is not depending on that one particular exam or one particular uh, level of test. And that's how I chose that, okay, I want to go, I, I love numbers and I want to choose the field where I can apply those things. And that's the point where I choose the path and I am following that path from last 12 years almost. And uh, yes, uh, I am on that path and it's a learning path. So it's a never ending path. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much Toastmaster uh, Sweeker. So now I would like to call the next uh, participant for uh, next four topics here. Come on, who's going to take it next? Okay, there are two participants, raise their hands. Okay, we are Huria Gayas. What would you like to choose? I would like to go for the island, maybe. Yeah, oh. the second one. You mean this one, right? Okay, yeah. Let's yeah. see what's in the island for you. Oh, you are strand stranded on an island. If you have three things, what will it be to survive? I repeat, you are stranded on an island. If you have three things, what will it be to survive? Over to you, Huria. Thank you, Toastmaster Sahan, for giving me such a wonderful topic, and thank you for calling me out. So my topic is that I am stranded out on the island, and what will be three things that I will be having for me to survive? So firstly, not to mention, but that's my, the most possible thing, that is my family. Of course, my family, my sisters, my mama, papa, and my grandma is my everything. They are my whole world. Without seeing them, I cannot start my day. They are literally the whole world to me because for every girl, her father is a first prince. And for every girl, her mother is a first queen. So I really believe that. And, they, my, and my sisters are definitely princes. They, I cannot live without them. Second thing that I would choose is, of course, something to eat because what that's what the, our body requires most. Of course, you need something to get into your body so that you can be get some power to like go and search for other things, other necessary things that you really need in order to survive in a, on a island. And the third thing that I would probably go for is to 
go for it to seek another ways to seek help, like writing something on sand so that any helicopter, plane, or something flying in the air may pass and can see that a family is there and they are literally like lost in, in, in on an island so that I can seek much more help from the other ways. And that are the three things that I believe are the most important for me to survive on a stranded island. But on number one is my family. If I don't have like enough to eat or some and other ways to seek help, my family is the thing that will really keep me going. They will motivate me to live on rather than to die. And uh, that's all from my side. Just my, over to just Master Sahan. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Huria. And now I have now three objects to go. So who's going to be next? Oh. Okay. How about Toastmaster Deepa? Yes, Toastmaster Suhan. I think I'll go for the ship. Oh, you'll go on the cruise. Okay. So let me see what does cruise has for you. Oh my God, the ship is sinking. How will you survive a shipwreck? I repeat, the ship is sinking. How will you survive a shipwreck? Over to you. You know, don't hold it tight. Hold it right. That's your goal. And when you hold your goals very tight, your ship will begin to sink. Let me tell you my story. I faced a moment when my ship was sinking. I was in college. All through my school, I was very competitive, extremely competitive. If somebody outsmarted me, I couldn't tolerate it. I was, but in college, because of all the stress that was building up from my childhood, my grades began to slip. And one fine day, I failed in my paper, electrical paper. And that was a shifting moment for me. I thought I'm a failure, I'm done for. There's no way I'm going to survive the world and had this narrow outlook towards life. That day, I was forced to take therapy. I was forced to reevaluate my life and shift my priorities and look at the other wonderful things in the world. There are so many things. Studies are not everything, but I was focus so narrow I couldn't even see anything else I began to invest in friendships I began to invest in artwork I began to tell myself I'm going to relax but I'm going to just devote some amount of time to my studies and take it easy this time I was holding my goals right in a relaxed way I wasn't holding tight I want this I want this I allowed room for failure I allowed room to improve and that's when, even though I was not studying all the time, my grades began to pick up. And I did pass with a distinction in my college. So ladies and gentlemen, this is what I have to say. If your ship is sinking, there is hope. Just reevaluate your life. Think about those goals and give room to hold your goals right and not hold it very tight. Mr. Topics Master. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Reaper. <laughs> well, I was I already got sank in your thoughts now. So now who's next? We have only two objects left. Come on. How about Toastmaster Shiraz? Yes, please. Okay, what would you like to fire? Oh, you know. Okay, let me see what's there behind fire. Okay, my topic for you is. I survived because the fire inside me burned brighter than the fire around me. I repeat, I survived because the fire inside me burned brighter than the fire around me. Over to you. Can you, can you put the screen again, please? I just missed out. Extremely sorry. All right. Yeah. The fire, I survived because the fire inside me burnt brighter than the fire around me. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests. 
there was a person who lost his arm because of an accident he suffered a lot in his life he could not do his work on his own he was he had to leave the work because he could not do the work with with one hand ultimately he felt very upset and he wanted to get suicide he went top of a building to suicide he saw a person below with no hands no both arms but dancing this guy saw why i don't have a arm and i am suffering i want suicide this guy doesn't have both hands and he is enjoying he went down rushed down and he he was asking that person hey man i don't have a, a arm i am suffering i want suicide but you are enjoying how come he said that i did not dance i did not enjoy myself my back was itching so i did like this all of us are like this we think that we have all the problem and we cannot survive with these problems we don't we see others as they have everything it's not like that others are more suffering than us you always see the people who have benz mercedes but the people who doesn't have vehicles we are much better than that so even though we have problems we have to think that our problems are much better than the others what we are living what we have is much better than the others thank god and we have to be satisfied with what we have over to you table topics master thank you so much toast master shiraz you were on fire so now now it's the last one now who would like to take this Priya Darshan, ready? Anyone? Or Toastmaster Sana? Just one last topic, and we'll sure. And we'll I'll, I'll give it a go. All right. So what do we have for Toastmaster Sana? Okay. Uh, the topic is cancer did not bring. me to my knees it brought me to my feet cancer did not bring me to my knees it brought me to my feet those must have done over to you good evening once again everyone now personally i have not had ex- any interaction with cancer neither anyone in my immediate family so i don't have a one on one experience with cancer but i do know one of my neighbors whom we were really close with she had gotten cancer she was diagnosed with cancer and we in like in front of our eyes we saw the struggle that she had we saw the hospital trips that she had to take and you would expect a person to just be so you know just give up by that struggle of not knowing how long you have and not knowing what's happening to your body and it should the whole cancer term should by then bring you down to your knees that's how much it drains your power mentally and physically but i've noticed from her that it's not only it's not brought her down to her knees it's actually brought her up to her feet she's she's alhamdulillah she's recovered and she's safe and healthy now but this experience was an enlight an enlightening experience she became more independent she was more grateful for things and just seeing her how she changed her perspective and outlook on life it made us it gave us an inspiration just like change what we are grateful for and how to complain less in life and i feel like that's the biggest thing that we should take from life just like how tosmaster um Shira said that when we look at others we should be grateful for the problems that we have because we might have it better than other people and i feel like this is what cancer weirdly shows people that people might be suffering but if they fight and they should fight it gives us hope for our tiny problems as well thank you over to you okay thank you so much to master sana now we finish our table topic session all all eight speakers were amazing 
So now it's time to vote for them. But before that, I would like to know from the time where did all these eight speakers qualify? Yes, Master. Alhamdulillah, all the speakers are qualified. Should I take a name? Oh, yes, you can just take their names. Okay, so starting from Toastmaster Chika, Toastmaster Hanan, Toastmaster Lakshmi, Toastmaster Sikhar, Toastmaster Guria, Toastmaster Deepa, Toastmaster Shiraz, Toastmaster Sana. Please vote for best table topic speaker. Okay, so it was, and the host may launch the poll. Yes, launching the poll now for the table topics. All right, so till since you all are voting, I would like to give the stage back to our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Asil, over to you. Thank you. My, you see, I have to keep an eye on my niece when my sister and my brother-in-law are at home, so she wanted a little attention. Someone here said in the chat, goodness overload, tell me something I don't know. Amazing uh, table topic, even better than I expected. It was a really good job. Thank you, table topic uh, master. Now let me hand over the screen. Let me introduce again my lovely friend who will take over our next and final segment, evaluation segment. Please help me welcome my dear friend, general evaluator to semester. Sana, the screen is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster Asil. Now, as an evaluator, I will be dividing this segment into three sections. The first will be evaluations for our prepared speakers. And with that, we'll call upon Toastmaster Styram, who will be evaluating our lovely Toastmaster Huma for her speech on conflict resolution. Toastmaster Styram, are you ready? And before we begin, I would like the timer to explain rules on evaluation segment. If you could just. Timer. Yes, Madam General Evaluator. For evaluation, I'll show, actually I'll be using my virtual timing, virtual. So for, at, yes. At two, I'll show green. At two minutes and 30 seconds, I'll show yellow. And at three minutes, I'll show red. It means that evaluator has 30 seconds to wrap up his or her evaluation speech. Over to you, Madam General Evaluator. Thank you so much. And Toastmaster Sairam, when you're ready, you can give us a thumbs up and begin. I'm ready. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests, especially to my target speaker, Toastmaster Huma Parveen. First of all, Toastmaster Huma Parveen, congratulations on successfully attempting your speech, which fulfills the purpose of the statement. Well done. My dear fellow Toastmasters, most of us usually correlate the subject of her speech, conflicts and the resolutions in our daily life. It might be some, sometimes, it might be in our office or maybe some outside. Sometimes it might be at our home, isn't it? Yes. And Toastmaster Huma, Huma Parveen explained the conflict with the resolutions in a very well manner. First of all, she started her speech with the engaged word, which is the program, TV program called Big Boss. Well done, Toastmaster Huma. This is a, a this uh, topic, Big Boss, is very apt to engage the audience immediately, not even giving a single second to take off the attention. 
and then start then followed by the question should be surrender to the conflict or should we learn something from them with a positive attitude straight hit to the hit, uh, straight to the question to the audience and then shared the way she feels the best example she has given the conflict happened at airport and the conversation between the two passengers and the three gems from the from that story like separate the conflict communicate well and find out the root cause these are the really three gems as a takeaway from that story overall the content of the speech is very well and very well established this is what i heard now let me tell you what i saw i have noticed that she is very well she is having very perfect communication skills she is her eye contact is uh, very uh, uh, eye contact is very good and the content of the speech is very well structured but what i want to feel from the speech is if i put myself in her shoes i better stand up and i will maintain a space speaking area and i separate that speech in two or three in categories and positions and i will explain rather than giving a only one example which is a generic one better i will give my own example either at my home or at my office and one time i have seen one of the gestures of conflict used by one of our wonderful women toastmaster toastmaster hanan in her speech conflict or argument between the two persons show that in a gesture way because the topic was very serious and to make the audience engaged it's better to use some gestures or by adding by some kind of humor bit of humor overall the subject was very well apt to the current scenario your communication skills was i mean your communication skills were extraordinary just work on the speaking area which takes your next speech to the next level and wish you all the best to smash of huma parvi and back to you general evaluator tosmas sana yusuf thank you. thank you Toastmaster Sairam, that was a very well-rounded evaluation, and I'm sure Toastmaster Huma will be using all of these suggestions that you talked about. Now, let's move on to our second evaluator for today, who happens to be a guest from another club, Toastmaster Deepa Kumar, who will be evaluating Toastmaster Jinu on his speech of survival of stress. Toastmaster Deepa, are you ready? Yes, our uh, general evaluator right. Sana. You can show us a genu. Does Master Genu, are you ready for the feedback? Thumbs up. Great. Genu, I really love this topic, survival of stress, a universal subject that we are all facing every single day of our lives. And I really wanted to know what is your solution, what is your take on how to survive stress. great job on picking the subject i loved how you dressed up for the meeting you know as a speaker when you are one level dressed up you get all the attention great job i also like the way you started the speech using triads you know you started with a repetition of a word stress 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 if i go to office this work stress if i go to family this family stress if i go to friends social stress I mean, I'm going to take this triad back home. Great, great choice of words. And then I saw, you know, you, the first speech, Toastmasters. He had given the same speech earlier. The evaluator had asked him to pace himself slower, and I felt you have done justice to it. I've never felt that you were 
really going in a hurried way anywhere at all. So you were in a particular rhythm. We were able to understand everything that you had to say. And the second thing that the evaluator in the first speech told was to use your voice powerfully. And you did. I saw several instances where you did. For example, the first line itself, stress, stress, stress. And then I have a social question to you. Towards the end, you had, ask yourself, how do I respond to the feeling of stress? Do I smoke? Do I start flipping Facebook? You know, you suddenly went fast. You paced a little faster and then you came back to your normal rhythm. So these are elements of vocal variety that I already see in place. Good job, Jenu. And I think you can further probe into other techniques of how you can use your voice effectively. And I also liked um, how you structured your speech, which was one another feedback that you'd received. You had a clear body, you had a opening body and conclusion. There was no confusion with that. So your objective is met. So if I had to add more to your speech evaluation today, it's just this. You know, if you could stand back a little farther away from the camera, you'll get more room to move around. You'll have more, you can come closer, you can, you know, whisper the statistics. Did you know 25% of work leave is because of stress? Or then you can just go back and then just, you know, add that variety, the visual fatigue that we get, you can get rid of them by just moving around the stage. And I, I also wish your title could have been, I'm going to overcome stress or something like a call of action. That way you could have put that message in the first idea, second idea, third idea, I mean, in the beginning, middle and third, so that your message of increasing communication, which is your solution, can hit us like a nail with a hammer. So if that'll re get reinforced, if you keep bringing that one idea that your message you keep bringing it up three times or four times in a very strategic way. Good job, Jenny James. Looking forward to your next speech. General Evaluator Sanam. Thank you so much, Sadeepa. Those were some really great points that you brought out in Toastmaster Juno's speech, and the suggestions were amazing. I think not only Toastmaster Juno, but myself, I'm going to be using them as well, especially the movement ones. They were really great. Now we finished with evaluations, prepared evaluators. Now let's move on to hear from our grammarian and see what she has to say about our grammar for today. So where is our grammarian? Toastmaster. Huria. Yeah, sorry, Toastmaster Huria. I didn't say the Huria, I apologize. Toastmaster Huria, please give us your report. Thank you, Toastmaster Sana, for calling me and asking me for my report. So there was luckily no bad usage of grammar that I, in my opinion, could notice and could write it down. However, I noticed a really good usage of grammar that I am going to like mention it here. You have to be empathetic and should understand the person's situation. People started to use technology in place of their brains. My father motivated me to take any challenge. Hold your goals right, not tight. That was my report for the grammarian and for the word of my, as a word master, I um, could not like see anyone using the word of the day. Um, let me know if I like just forgot anyone, like if I missed anyone, let me know. But in my opinion, I was really a good listener this time. I have never been that much active in any of the meetings since I never attended any meeting like outside my country. It's my first time. So please no, let me know if I missed anyone, the person who used it. Um, Toastmaster Jenu James, he, I'm literally so sorry, I just forgot you. Um, this master Dino James used this word and uh, except him, like no one used this word. Over to general evaluator, Toastmaster Sana. Thank you, Toastmaster Huria. Uh, a tip for next time, we desert pioneers, we like bribes a lot. So the next time you want us to use the day, word of the day, just tell us that you, you're gonna be gifting us 
a prize or something and you'll be hearing everyone use word of the day more than 50 times. <laughs> Thank you for your report. And now we have all the evaluators done. Timer, can I please know if the evaluators as well as grammarian have qualified for voting? Yes, Sir Master Sana. Uh, unfortunately, so they are Toastmaster Huya and Toastmaster Sire. They both are disqualified. Oh, okay. All right. So by default, there does need to be a voting. So we'll move on to we'll move on to a report from our R counter, who happens to be our newest member, Toastmaster Zahid Hussain. Toastmaster Zahid, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Thank All you, right, Toastmaster. Thank you, Toastmaster, Sana Yusuf, fellow Toastmaster and guest. It was a wonderful day for me for being a part of this because this is my first role. Coming to report, coming to my report, uh, Toastmaster Uma Parivin, no filler words, no clutches. Toastmaster Genu Gems, no filler words. Toastmaster Sairam, no filler words. Toastmaster Deepa Kumar, no filler words. Toastmaster Anan Halus, there are no filler words, no clutch words. Toastmaster Lakshmi, no filler words. Toastmaster Swikar Saksena, uh, one or two times they use uh, Toastmaster Huria, uh, Huria Gyas, they take a uh, long pause. Toastmaster Mohammed Siraj, they also take a long pause. That's my report. Over to you, Sana Yusuf. That's, that's a great job. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Zahid. And I'm really Thank proud you. of everyone today in today's meeting. No ahs and arms, barely anything. That's, a, that's great progress. And now we're done with everyone else's reports. It's time for my report. And for that, I'm just going to share something. All right. So this is my favorite way of giving a general evaluation report. So let's start with how our meeting began. Our meeting started exactly on time, seven o'clock. Everybody was We cannot hear you. Toshmasana, you are not audible. I am so sorry. <laughs> Technicality. I'm sorry. I'm just going to begin again. So this is my favorite way of giving an evaluation, general evaluation. Our meeting started on time, dot seven o'clock. Everybody was there. The sergeant at arms began the meeting and the guests were introduced as well. All the role players were doing their job perfectly fine. They did their roles to the, to the best. And there was also a Toastmaster protocol followed because there was an amendment to be made in the agenda and that was done perfectly. Let's talk about the Toastmaster of the day. Toastmaster Asil, where is she? Toastmaster Asil, you chose such a nice topic, such an emotional topic. And I know it is because something that is really close to you. So it was really interesting to hear your thoughts on this. And you also gave us a lot of different stories and how you introduce, um, how you indulge us in different stories of different different types of survivors. And not it doesn't have to be cancer, but it also has to be. It can also be something else. And this segment of meeting very smoothly. So it's master. I'm a big fan, and I think I need you to be the public master in every meeting because I loved the things that you came up with. They were relevant to the theme. I have the maximum participants, and like I said before. Wait, can you guys hear me? Yeah. 
Yes, we can hear you now. Okay. I'm sorry, my phone just stopped working. Role players were thorough. They did their job perfectly. And now the only thing, so the meeting was amazing. Quality meeting, amazing guests, participation was amazing. The only thing I would, would have loved to see more is a virtual background. Because we don't have any other way to connect in Zoom, the only way we can feel as a whole, as a, an actual meeting, is if we use a uniform background to just show that we are actually a part of a meeting. So I would suggest that whoever is the Toastmaster of the day or anyone, make sure that your virtual background is circulated. So not only your members, but also guests can use them. And it looks good in a group photo as well, but also shows us that we are, you know, we're a part of something. And the other thing I would love to see more is people to switch on their cameras. Because I know that if I was the one speaking, I would want to see people who are listening to me. I would not want to see black backgrounds or black blank faces. And I know this is the same thing for other speakers who are courageous enough to give their speeches. As we all know, it takes a lot of courage to actually attempt table topics and prepared speeches. So we should give them, we should make it easy for them. We should be the audience and motivate them and give them courage to do their speeches. So these are the only two things that I would have loved to see happening more in our meeting. But other than that, I loved the theme. I loved the questions and the speeches were amazing. All the speakers are just getting better. The progress, we can actually see an incline in their progress. Evaluators, I love that today we had guest evaluators. So we got an, a different sense of evaluation as well. A lot of participation it was great. So keep it up you guys. And for that, you get an overall gold star. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I'm going to hand it back over to our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Asil. Over to you. Thank you for great uh, feedback. Thank you, Toastmaster Sena. I knew you do a great job. Thank you all for being here. You guys really made this uh, meeting happen. Even though I would have loved to hear from the two other speakers who apologize, but I understand there are circumstances. I'm sure we'll be able to hear from them next time when the circumstances is right. And uh, thank you Toastmaster Shiraz for telling, me, telling a story. You also gave us another example of a survivor even though things uh, weren't okay at first. Shall we hear from the Shall we hear from the guests their feedback? Um, Toastmaster Asil, uh, actually we, we were supposed to uh, give vote for the best evaluator and for the best role player. So yeah. Okay, let's vote for the best evaluator then uh, we'll hear. I'd like to interject. We don't need to vote for the best evaluator as the other oh, yeah, evaluators sorry. did not qualify. <laughs> so there's just one evaluator standing. So we don't need to vote for that, but we can vote for best role player. Okay. Okay, let's start the poll for best role player. Launching the poll now for the best role player on your screens. Let me know when you received all the feedback. Okay, shall we ask for the guest uh, feedback at uh, Toastmaster Suhan? Um, okay, now we can ask uh, guest feedback. And now, firstly, I would like to welcome our guest all the way from Athens, Greece, Toastmaster Georgia. Well, she tried to log in quite early, but she was busy. She said that she wanted to participate in a table topics, but in order to justify that, I'm going to give her the table topic now. That is, please tell us, how did you find the meeting about our desert pioneers? This is the topic I would like to give you. 
Mr. Table Topics Master, dear Suhan, uh, dear members uh, of uh, Desert Pioneers speakers, it's, it's a pleasure to be with you today. I have been trying to come for many, many times. There's always something up. So I'm really grateful that I'm a guest tonight. I thought I was on time for the table topics, but obviously you were fast in your meeting. That's my first impression. You know, it's a great experiment if you come in the middle of the meeting, because if you enjoy the meeting from the middle, that means it's a good meeting. I have to say it's been a while since I've seen such a great enthusiasm on a Zoom meeting on Toastmasters. So congratulations. I can feel the energy. I heard some of the evaluations and both evaluators that I heard were really spiring up the meeting. And then you had this amazing general evaluator. I've never seen in all the clubs in the world a general evaluation presented in that way with a, with a PowerPoint, with certain objectives. I'm already impressed if that tells you anything. I know Basuhan and the private communication we had because we're organizing a joint meeting with my club, how well behaved and courteous he was, but I didn't know anything about the club. I'm really, really impressed. And a last thing, I, I know that normally Kuwait you speak Arabic, but your English is off the charts here. Really respecting all the levels. I'm looking forward to, to work together for a joint meeting. Back to you, Suhan. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Georgia. Actually, uh, Desert Pioneers members, I would like to inform you that in upcoming uh, month of October, our club and the Greece Toastmasters Club, we are going to have a special joint meeting over here. So as we have been announcing a bit and slowly we are going to start working on that aspect of it. So, so I request all the members to, you know, uh, get in touch with me and you know you can take up all the take up the roles and speaking slots whatever you would like to do in this meeting yeah so this is what i want to say so now i would like to hear from our other guest toastmaster huria guys thank you toastmaster Sohan. today the meeting was so engaging and uh, the way that you people like carried the meeting in a real flow it was so good um i would like to mention that it's my second meeting outside i just forgot to mention that it's my second meeting outside my own country so that was a really like different experience for me like you guys vote for the best role player we do not have in our club like i know i've never seen that in my club like in my district even and the, the voting for like in the polls like yeah i have seen that but like the vote for role players i've never seen that so that was the thing that really grabbed and cast my attention like hell at anything and that i would like to introduce in in my club too because that is the main thing that like gives a real motivation to all the world players who like who are like engaged in the meeting whole time but in our district they are like never motivated to do like any kind of role so that's the reason when my sister Liva asked me for the for my permission that can I play the role in the in tonight's meeting I at first denied because I was so busy at that time I had to like cook lunch and some and things like that but she said can uh, that uh, it would you you will worth it it's really engaging and the club you will enjoy the meeting and uh, now i know that it's not a lie she wasn't lying i really enjoyed the meeting tonight because it was a whole different experience for me as compared to my district um i guess i just spoke like a <laughs> toastmaster georgia speak like spoke like a table topic i don't want to get so long that was my experience it was really good and i would like to come to another meeting soon over to Toastmaster Sahan. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Hure, for your uh, amazing feedback. And I mean, uh, I don't know what more I say, but I want to ask Toastmaster Laiva, what did you promise her to give her so that she can say so much good things about us? Toastmaster Laiva, what do you? Okay, you share some few words. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Sahan. First of all, for giving me the opportunity to play the role of a timer. After a very long time, I played the role of a timer. Whenever, you know, in Express Annual Education. So I never assigned the role of a timer to me, to myself. 
and whenever uh, in in doubt like the HM, whenever the VP education assigns me the role of a timer, I just say, just give me any role uh, because uh, I can play any role except for timer because a timer is very difficult and important role. So it's very difficult for me to play a role of a timer, but uh, I play, but I enjoyed a lot after playing the role of the timer in Desert Financial Smart Club. And I believe that Desert Financial Smart Club is the best club in District 20. And you know, District 20 is uh, very important to me because I have a mentor from District 20. I have so many friends from District 20. So yes, District 20 is very important to me. Over to you, Smart Club. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Laiba. And now I'd like to hear from Toastmaster Deepa. It was a lovely meeting. I mean, I could hear such good speeches and table topics. Everybody was so good. I mean, uh, uh, Chuko, Chuka with the fire. I mean, I was so surprised with how his mistake was. And Toastmaster um, Hanan, very accomplished speakers. And I, I could see the details, the amount of effort that you put into details, the agenda, the poster, how you invite guests a really impressive work. Um, Suhan and your team in the executive committee, really good job. Love Desert Pioneers. And I'd recommend everybody visit you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Deepa. Okay, now I want to hear from Toastmaster Lakshmi. If she's... Uh, Hello, good um, evening. Apologies okay. that I'm not able to come on camera because it's almost 11 o'clock here and I have my kids trying to sleep. So that's the reason I'm off camera. Apologies for that. So, you know, I was actually just trying to get to bed and then suddenly I saw this message on worldwide Toastmasters group saying happening now. And when I checked, I was all, almost half an hour to 40 minutes late. I was like, it's okay, let me just join. So I've missed out on the two speeches and when I heard the evaluators evaluating those speeches, I really realized what I have missed out today. I wish I could hear those speeches. But other than that, the table topics were so profound. I totally loved them. What I loved about them is that I could, you know, every speaker could speak for more than a minute for those topics. And thank you so much for those wonderful topics. I really loved being here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Toshmaster, for taking some time for us. And thank you, and I hope to see you again. Now I'd like to hear from our last guest, Toastmaster Svikar. He has been waiting for quite a long time. Uh, thank you, Toastmaster Suhan, uh, and thank you everyone for welcoming me and uh, listening me out. And uh, it is a really nice experience uh, and I've joined the club today. This is my first session. So this is totally a new experience for me, but uh, yeah, I'm loving it and uh, hoping to see more exciting sessions uh, going forward. Yeah, thank you. Over to Swan. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster speaker. And I'm so happy to hear all the feedbacks and good comments from all of our guests and I'm so happy and I'm so happy that the meeting has become quite successful. Now we have only one thing to do that's only to uh, you know it's time for the awards now. So let's all get ready and see who has won the best in this. So let me share my screen. Oh, hold on a minute. Okay, I think now we are quite ready. So now, it's time for us to see who has won the best table topics. According to the voting thing, there was a tie. 
So let's see who has answered. So before you announce, let's do the drum rolls. And our table topic speaker, the best table topic speaker is, oh, we have Toastmaster Hanan Halush. And there's Toastmaster Deepa Sampat Kumar. As I said, it was a tie. So both of you can, both of you can be Okay, and now for the best role player. And the best role player award goes to Toastmaster Huriya Gayas for doing the perfect role as a grammarian. Congratulations, Huria. Thank you so much. I never expected to win that. Great work. Now, the best evaluator. And by default, it was our best evaluator was Toastmaster Deepa Sampat Kumar. Congratulations once again, Toastmaster Deepa. And now, the moment we have been waiting for the best speaker. And the award goes to drum rolls. Yeah. Toastmaster Jenu James. Oh, Congratulations. <laughs> All right. So now here comes the end of the meeting and I really want to thank you all for coming and our next meeting will be on uh, yeah, 24th September 2021 same time 7 to 9 p.m quit time itself and I'll be very happy to see you all once again thank you thank you so much thank you everyone thank, thank you everyone. all it was nice meeting everyone I hereby adjourn the meeting